little YouTube Angie's in bed. I thought we'll come out and have a little uh, chat over the, uh, over a cold one uh, for right now. Uh, we're filming this on uh, we're at the tail end of uh, July 31st. Uh, hard to believe summer is about a little month and a half away to go uh, left in this summer. How's your guys' summer going up uh, so far? Even with this coronavirus, I hope you guys made the best of everything out there uh, as best you could, uh, basically. Uh, unfortunately, like I said uh, in previous videos, the only thing we really miss on our, on our summer uh, vlogging is the baseball games. Um, we would have been on, uh, if we would have filmed a game in April, May, June, July, we would have been going to maybe film a couple more games, and maybe potential playoffs, who knows. But with no minor league games, and as of we are talking about it, it may or may not happen, but Major League Baseball could uh, cancel the rest of the season because a lot of players are coming down with that virus. Uh, basically, so it's, even if they're not playing in front of the fans, uh, there is some risk out there, uh, basically. So, uh, whatever Major League uh, Baseball makes the decision, it's got to go what it is. At least we had some baseball in this year. Oh, another thing that we are uh, missing this year is uh, that one carnival that we uh, filmed the last two years in a row. Uh, what they've been doing this summer... Well, they've been setting up one of some of their uh, concession stands selling food uh, around the Peoria area. And I guess whatever profits they make after their expenses is paid off, uh, they donate the profits to uh, charity, which is good in that. I kind of like that idea. But uh, even when the carnivals are not running, believe it or not, they're still paying insurance on those rides even when they're not running. The amusement park uh, that we know of, that the one we went to, um, they had their busy day uh, during the 4th of July. And the time you watch this video, uh, I know the Iowa State Fair has canceled. And that would have been the next busy week or so for Adventureland Park would have been during the Iowa State Fair. Um, and I heard some other amusement parks uh, through videos that... Their attendance is at 50% or less. Uh, they're not seeing the crowds like they used to. Uh, I know a lot of people are still scared with this virus going on. Oh, by the way, you want to know why it, uh, the light is going in and out? The tree is uh, blocking the light, so there's some leaves occasionally blocks that light out, so that's why it blinks off and on. Yeah, as soon as I put the camera on it, it, uh, it, it stops doing it. <laughs> See, there it goes. Now I got the camera away from it. Now it's doing it again. And it gives us more time to sit out here in the patio, relax, and uh, shoot the breeze with you guys out there to see what's going on uh, in the world. Um, we may be going down the riverfront probably again, probably, probably tomorrow. I'm hoping tomorrow uh, at dusk, at sunset, maybe around sunset. I'm thinking about going back down there. Uh, Maybe sit around the fountain area. I don't know what we got planned. Uh, what Angie and I's planned. I really need to get Angie down out the apartment for a little while. Get some fresh air. Even under a mask. <laughs> and that. So who knows what's going on. And what regulations we'd be facing out there. Uh, basically what's going on. And that. So it's hard to believe summer's over, almost over. And technically with lack of baseball. And a lack of other events going on, and other events got relocated to another part of town. You know, the, the music on the avenue. Unfortunately, I couldn't film it this year because of scheduling conflicts. Uh, has moved it to the ballpark. We're thinking about a Saturday night concert if there's one left, but I, you guys are blurring. Let's come right back. I can't believe you guys just blurred on me just like that. Uh, yeah. Amazing how this camera, this camera's getting old too. This is the old Sony cam too. And I was talking about uh, maybe replacing this one. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. I thought I got one replaced, but I'm still having, I'm still having some microphone issues with that new one. It is a cheap camera, and 
cheaper is not always better, and it's always getting what you pay for. And I still haven't gotten a wind test on it yet, so I have not really had a windy day. Uh, I would have had it during vacation, but I just want to make sure I used the best camera I had on hand for those videos. See, there it goes again. See, it's that. See, you just see, see it right there. That tree branch just goes over and blocks the light. See, just did it again. Yep. Cool, isn't it? <laughs> but as soon as fall hits, that will be a thing of the past. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think the trees need to be trimmed a little bit around that light eventually, I think. So, uh, it may or may not happen in that. There's a lot of trees around here that's kind of on a... kind of dying uh, recently, so, uh, in that. Uh, and she wants me to talk about uh, what's going what's going on uh, back in the boonies uh, with that one construction. I heard that uh, they put a lot up for sale again, and it sounds like construction kind of uh, want to back down because the city is citizens, not the city is complaining. It's the neighborhoods is complaining about it. Uh, they don't like the plans that they put in. Mm, oh well. Things happens and that, so it's hard to be positive in this town when people start building positive stuff and people just takes it as negative. Oh, it doesn't work that way, guys. And of course, the most common complaint I've always heard since the 1980s that I've been hearing is in this town since the 1980s. We need the jobs, and we need the jobs, we need the jobs, we need the jobs. We don't want the factories in our backyard. Hmm, I wonder how that panned out so far. Look at the factories that did not come to town because of some of our citizens' attitudes, uh, basically. I've been hearing it for since the 1980s, guys. I've been hearing this since the 1980s, and... Uh, it's just a common complaint. I've always heard that people want the jobs, they want the jobs, they want the jobs, but they don't want the factories in their backyard. So, I'm sorry, it, it can't have one or the other. You gotta have one. If you want one, you gotta have the other to go with it. <laughs> That's how it works. You guys are blurring again. How about that? Okay, I don't know what we're gonna do the rest of the summer. Like I said, a lot of the summer events is, uh, is called off. Uh, a lot of fairs and carnivals had called off a long time ago. And it's kind of going down to, it's kind of doing these walks down to the riverfront at night and not seeing the baseball lights lit up, not seeing the showboat lit up, and not really seeing a whole lot of events taking place on the riverfront uh, this year or lack of them. If there are some events, they're not drawing as big crowds like they used to. Uh, the amusement parks that we attended to see, uh, it's the camera. I don't know if it's a camera or it's just the humidity. It's probably just humidity and the camera shots and that. So uh, it's just amazing of how uh, how this summer has played out uh, with this coronavirus and that. And we've seen it in our, in our videos that uh, eventually had a dead day. But because of the situation, the sanitizing, the separation of the people, those rides should have been easily walk-ons, but some of them just had a small line because of the situation and that. And, and basically, I don't know what's going on with Six Flags Great America. I haven't heard a whole lot about it. All right, uh, you guys are blurring again. Wow. I'll tell you what, since we're having, since the camera likes to blur so much, uh, we're just going to go ahead and blow on out of here then, hopefully. Uh, right now, just what kind of summer have you guys been experiencing this summer? That's probably the question I should be asking. I know we didn't have much. I know we saved a lot of money, but then I didn't tell you guys this. We spent a lot of money on our vacation. A lot more than I really wanted to, but we had to anyway. Uh, just to go out and enjoy ourselves and just to make us safe in that heat. Uh, that's why we got those motel rooms like we did, like Motel Six, a couple of nights at Motel Six, and a couple of, and three nights at the uh, at the Great Lakes uh, Inn up there in Spirit Lake. Uh, nice hotel, looks like a little rundown, but still a nice place to sleep if that's all you're going to do to use those uh, places. 
right now, like I said, we're going to get out of here and see you guys tomorrow. Please like, share, subscribe, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And guess what? It's just happened again. It's got to be nighttime. It's really, it's really hazy and muggy out here tonight. So the camera can't really focus on a lot of stuff tonight for some reason. And we'll see you guys tomorrow.